Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland Middle School for Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. Another beautiful day for baseball temperatures in the high 80s as we are set for the first pitch. Michael Krupe delivers to Christian Boschetto. And the first pitch is a ball. It is Natick and Ashland today is post 77 looking for their fourth win of the season. This is hit in the air. That'll drop into left field for a leadoff single by the right fielder, Christian Boschetto. And there is one on to start the game for Natick. Jason Dobeck, the shortstop, will now come up to the plate. For Natick, post 107, Natick still in search for a playoff spot. They are very much in the hunt at 7-7 seven and seven, as they are just out of the top four teams. Still fighting for that fourth seed as the first pitch to Dobeck was inside. We'll get you the District 5 standings in just a moment as Michael Krupe delivers once again. That pitch is down low. First, let's take a look at the Ashland field. Michael Krupe on the mound. Zach Jacobs, his battery mate at first base. Sean Babineau, as he is set to deliver, that pitch is just inside. At second base is Ronan Bates, shortstop Trevor DePeron, getting the start today. As Krupe set to deliver, and there's a strike. Mike Messier is at third base. From left to right, Jake Obed, Andrew Keim, and Samir Sharma. The windup and the pitch. Just up high, and that'll draw the walk. So the two lead hitters on for Natick. Coming up now, the third hitter in the post-107 lineup, Kennedy Wilson, the third baseman. Let's take a look at that Natick batting order. Christian Boschetto, the right fielder, led things off. Jason Dobek just walked. He bats second. Kennedy Wilson now batting third as he'll tattoo this one in a center field, but in the right place at the right time is Andrew Keim. One away. Kyle Dembrowski, the first baseman, hitting cleanup, coming up to the plate now. Nick Wilson, the catcher, batting fifth. Mark Soma, the designated hitter, batting sixth. Noah Joseph, the second baseman, batting seventh. Cam Smith, the center fielder, batting eighth. Tom Fish, the left fielder, batting ninth for Natick. And excuse me, Tom Fish is the center fielder. Cam Smith, the left fielder. As Michael Krupe set to deliver to Kyle Dembrowski. And we'll get a time call as Jacobs going to have a chat with Krupe. A slight delay in getting this game started today one of the umpires got delayed in arriving so this game starting about 25 minutes past the original 545 start time as Krupe set to deliver from the stretch leg lift and the pitch this is up the middle. That's going to take a hop into center field. Runner being waved around third. The throw home is not going to be in time. It's 1-0 Natick. Christian Boschetto comes around to score the first run of the game. Jason Dobek up to second on the RBI single by the first baseman, Kyle Dembrowski. And that'll bring up Nick Wilson, the catcher. As Wilson takes a look down the third base line at the coach. Head coach Mike Lodi for Natick in his first season as head coach. Krupe working from the stretch. Two on, one out, a run in for Natick. Swinging strike there. Krupe from the stretch, just low. One and two. Well, Ashland post 77 out of the playoff picture, but still has a chance to play 
upset here as that pitch gets away from the catcher. Both runners advance. Dobek up to third, Dembrowski up to second. So Ashland attempting to play spoiler here. If they beat Natick today, it more than likely knocks them out of any contention to get that playoff spot in the top four spots in District 5 as that one's fouled away. Natick 7-7. Seven and seven. Two games behind, 9-5 and five Hudson for that fourth spot in the standings. Top four get in pretty much as there's a strike and that will do it for Nick Wilson. That's the second out of the inning. Mark Soma, the designated hitter, will come to the plate. Let's take a look at the uh, District 5 standings. In first place is Lowell, 12-2. Newton is 11 and 3 in second. Sudbury right on their tail at 10 and 3. The windup and the pitch, a swinging strike. Hudson in that fourth spot at 9 and 5. That one down low. Natick in the fifth spot at 7 and 7. North Chelmsford 4 and 9. Ashland 3, 10 and 1. Gilrica 2, 11 and 1. And Woburn is 2 and 10. That pitch down low. Good block by Jacobs behind the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Another good block behind the plate. 3 and 1 the count. Rupi from the stretch. And there's another ball. Soma will draw the walk, and that will load up the bases with two outs for second baseman Noah Joseph. Post 77 coming up with a nice win yesterday against Woburn. They scored eight runs in the fourth inning. As that pitch inside, there were several walks in that inning by the Woburn starter, which allowed Ashland to rally and get the 8-1 victory. Wind up and the pitch. In the final week of the regular season, the final game for post-77 is tomorrow. Krupe awaits the sign and is set to deliver. That one inside, Krupe struggling to find the strike zone. Seven straight balls. Three and O oh on Joseph. And there's a strike, three and one. Krupe, not a whole lot of a pitching experience this year, but with a lot of games this week. Post 77 certainly Going to be using all arms they have as this is going to walk in a run. Joseph draws the walk. Soma pushes up to second. Dombrowski up to third. Dobek comes around to score. It's now 2-0 Natick in the top of the first. Cam Smith, the left fielder, to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike. Blazing fastball there. Leg lift and the pitch, fouled away, 0-2. Krupe set to deal. Down low, 1-2. and two. Wind up and the pitch. And this is on the ground foul down the left side. Good hands by head coach Mike Lodi. Set to deliver.
And this is hit foul past the Natick dugout on the right side. Cam Smith set to graduate Natick High School next year, 2017. Natick, a younger team as well. And this is going to get by Jacobs, and another Natick run is going to come around to score. That's going to make it three to nothing. Kyle Dombrowski comes around on the wild pitch. Soma moves up to third, and Joseph up to second. Wind up and the pitch. That's upstairs. Set to deliver. That's hit foul. Full count on Smith. First base is open, and now it's filled as Smith draws the walk. The fourth walk in the inning from Krupe. That'll bring up Tom Fish, the center fielder. And we're going to get a timeout as head coach Derek Johnson and Zach Jacobs will have a chat with Krupe. And seeing that he doesn't have a whole lot of pitching experience, we'll see what the leash is with Krupe. And this is a good time for Post 77. They're a young team. They get the opportunity to get some of these younger players some experience at various positions. And one of the positives of this Ashland team, very versatile. They can throw just about anybody anywhere. And they've been moving guys around throughout the last few games, trying to get them more experience at different positions on the field. And that will certainly help your development for next year's team. Krupe working from the stretch. Bases loaded, two outs, three runs in for Natick. That pitch outside gets away from Jacobs. A runner going to try to score, and he will. The tag just late as Soma comes around to score the fourth Natick run. And that one looked like a pass ball to me as Joseph pushes up to third, Smith up to second. That's one Jacobs usually comes up with a lower pit on the inner corner, but just got by his glove there, and Soma took advantage of it. Great speed coming down that line. As this is lined up the middle, rolls on the grass, throw to first in time. So it is a four to three ground out, but Natick bats around and they plate four runs as we head to the bottom of the first, post 77 with some work to do. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control. Don't tolerate your pest problem. Eliminate your pest problem. You can find them online at WPCPest.com. They treat your home like it's their home. Set for the bottom of the first. Ashland trailing four to nothing. As Natick plates four runs in the top half of the inning. Let's take a look at the post-77 batting order. Jake Obid, the left fielder, will start things off. Sean Babineau, the first baseman, batting second. Zach Jacobs, the catcher, hitting third. Mike Messier, the third baseman, in the cleanup spot. Ronan Bates, the second baseman, batting fifth. Trevor DePeron, the shortstop, batting sixth. Andrew Kine, the center fielder, batting seventh. Michael Krupe, the pitcher, batting eighth. Samir Sharma, the right fielder, batting ninth. And for Natick's defense, Rick White is the starting pitcher. Nick Wilson behind home plate. Kyle Dembrowski at first base, Noah Joseph at second base, Jackson Dobeck to shortstop, Kennedy Wilson at third from left to right, Cam Smith, Tom Fish, and Christian Boschetto as Jake Obid steps in. White set to deal. That one up high, 1-0. delivers that's inside two and oh to Obid Ooh, 
White with the leg lift and the pitch. Swinging strike. Rick White graduated Natick High School this year. A six foot lefty. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Two and two. White deals. That's fouled into the backstop. White delivers. And this is hit into center field. A good drive by Obed. He's going to round first and stay put. Good throw in by Cam Smith, a leadoff single for Obid. And now it looks like there was a, uh, as a, oh, all right, Sean Babineau coming to the plate. Zach Jacobs walked out there. I was wondering if they uh, made a change just before the game. The lefty steps in. That one is up high, gets away from Wilson. Obid will advance on the wild pitch. Samir Sharma getting loose for post 77. We'll see if he comes in next inning or if they give Krupe another shot. Wind up and the pitch. Bunt pulled back, and that is going to be a ball. Two and O. Oh. White working from the stretch. There's a strike. White delivers inside. Three and one now on Babino. White deals. That one is low. Babino draws the walk. I'll bring up Zach Jacobs, the catcher. Two on, no outs for Ashland. That one low, one and oh. Deals and that's a ball. Two and O. Oh. Both pitchers with a little trouble finding the strike zone early on in this one. Obid leading off of second. Bunt down. White set to deal. Pulled back and that's a ball. Checking at second and nearly got there, but Obid able to get to the bag. Had a push. The second baseman, Noah Joseph, out of the way. Joseph was blocking the bag there. The 3-0 pitch to Jacobs. There's a strike. One ball away from loading the bases for Ashland. And that one is low. Jacobs draws the walk, and the bases are loaded for post 77. Obit up to third, Babino up to second. Mike Messier to the plate. No outs for Ashland. And now head coach Mike Lodi going to come out and have a chat 
with Rick White. Things certainly interesting here early on in this one. Four runs in the top of the first for Natick, but now you have the tying run at the plate for Ashland. This year has been hitting well this season and has a huge opportunity here. Takes that one inside, one and oh. Thrown in Bates due up on deck. White deals. There's a strike. Wind up in the pitch. And this is popped up right side, ranging over as the first baseman won't get to it in time. That'll make it one and two on Messier. White set to deliver. That one just outside, two and two. Well, Natick also has some action in their warm up area in case Rick White continues to struggle. That one fouled away. Messier just got a piece of it. This is full for Ashland, no outs. And this is crushed into center field, but it'll fall right into the glove of Tom Fish, runner from third, going to tag and will score, it's four to one. Jake Obid comes around, a sacrifice RBI flyout for Messier. Babineau stays over at second, Jacobs at first. Now a four to one game as Ronan Bates will come up to the plate. There's a strike. Oh, and one. And that is low. Runner taking off from second. Throw to third is going to be in time. So Babineau caught stealing. Jacobs pushes up to second. Double steal there for post 77. Didn't pan out exactly the way they hoped. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and two to Bates. Set to deal. Fouled away. White awaits the sign and deals outside. Two and two on Bates. And that is hit foul up the right side.
2-2 pitch to Bates. Swinging strike. Bates will go down and will jog up to first. The throw will be in time. And that is going to wrap it up for the inning. The third and final out. Post 77 does plate a run in the bottom of the first. It's 4-1 to Natick as we head to the top of the second. Top half of the second inning. Top of the order coming to the plate for post 107. A five-run first inning. Natick plated four runs. Ashland plated a run. As Christian Boschetto, the right fielder, set to step in. He singled in the first inning and scored the first run of the game. Scored on a RBI from Kyle Dombrowski, an RBI base hit. Michael Krupe back out there for his second inning of work. And he will deal ball one to the lefty. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Christian Boschetto set to graduate, graduate, excuse me, Wayland High School in 2017, next year. As this one is up the middle, slow roller on the grass. Krupe gathers it up, a little flip to first. Nice play, one away. Jason Dobeck, the shortstop, coming to the plate. Dobek walked and scored a run his last time up, last inning. Jackson Dobek set to graduate Catholic Memorial High School in 2017. Is that one up high? As the righty awaits the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Krupe deals. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop to Peron. Throw to first in time. Six to three goes Stobeck, and now Kennedy Wilson to the plate. A oh, much smoother inning so far for the post-77 defense. Wilson flew out his last time up. Krupe deals. Krupe has some good velocity on his fastball. If he hits the strike zone, more than likely he'll have a pretty good game here today. As this is fouled away. Krupe deals, and this is up the middle, past Krupe, gloved by the second baseman, Bates gets it at first, and they go down one, two, three, in the top half of the second, four to one, as we head to the bottom of the inning. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They're a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options, Hopkinton Drug is located at 52 Main Street in Hopkinton. Bottom of the second, Trevor DePera on the shortstop steps in. Made a nice play last inning defensively as he takes strike one there. Rick White out there once again. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Set to deliver. That's fouled away into the backstop. Wind 
up and the pitch. There's ball one, one and two. Six, seven, and eight hitters this inning for Ashland. And there's strike three. DePron goes down swinging, one away. Andrew Kine, the center fielder, coming to the plate. Michael Krupe, the pitcher, due up next. Kime delivers, ball one. Excuse me, White delivers to Kime. White deals, and that is up the left side, glove by the shortstop, and will throw off his back foot, but it is just a little bit late as Time will reach safely. Good attempt, though, by Jackson Dobeck. That was a pretty good throw off his back foot. Nearly got him. As Michael Krupe will step in. One on, one out for Ashland. Wide up and the pitch inside. And the runner taking off from first, throw to second, is not going to be in time, and Kime steals. That was certainly very close. He hesitated a little bit, stopped in the middle of the base path, and then saw Nick Wilson struggling to get a grip on the ball and continued on to second base. White deals, there's a ball. Runner leading off of second, White gives him a good look and then delivers ball three. Natick had warm-up action earlier. You'll wonder what the leash is with White, especially with Natick really needing these wins to make a push for the playoffs. As there's a strike, throw up the middle, and the runner will just get back in time. Kime thought about third there. Three and one the count. Wide up and the pitch. And that is ball four. Krupe will get a free pass to first base. That will bring up the ninth hitter in the batting order, the right fielder, Samir Sharma. Two on, one out for Ashland. That one's fouled away. Oh, and one to Sharma. Samir Sharma at a Deerfield Academy. Set to graduate in 2018. Takes a ball there. One and one. White delivers. There's a swinging strike. Wide up and the pitch. Low and the attempted steal to third and the runner's safe. Andrew Kime with two steals. Krupe advanced to second. 
on the double steal there by Ashlyn, being ultra aggressive on the base paths today. And now head coach Mike Lodi out there to talk to his pitcher, well, actually the infield rather. Lodi staying put on the bench. So now you have runners on second and third with one out. White set to deal. Swinging strike and down goes Sharma. Two strikeouts in the inning for White. Jake Obid to the plate. There's strike one. Wide up and the pitch, fouled away. 0 oh and 2. White, one strike away from getting out of the jam in this inning. And that's fouled away over to the, towards the Natick dugout. Right up and the pitch. And there's strike three. Rick White gets out of it. And despite two runners reaching scoring position for post 77, no harm done. We will head to the top of the third. Natick leading Ashland four to one. Top half of the third inning, four, five, and six due up for Natick. A four to one Natick lead as Kyle Dombrowski, the first baseman, steps in. Wind up and the pitch from Krupe is up high. Natick scored all four of their runs in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch. That one inside, two and zero. Oh. Christian Bostetto led off with a single. Dobek then walked, and then a fly out from Kennedy Wilson. We'll recap the rest of the inning after this pitch. And this is third base side, glove by Messier. Throw to first in time. A five to three ground out for Dombrowski. After the Wilson fly out with two still on and one out, Kyle Dombrowski had the RBI single to drive in the first run. Nick Wilson then struck out. Mark Soma drew the walk and then ended up advancing in a wild pitch and scored on a pass ball later on. Wind up and the pitch, and this is up the middle. Bates will reach up and make the play as he'll throw over to fir first for the second out. Soma, the DH, steps in. Line up and the pitch. Inside. Well, ever since that first inning, things have been going pretty smoothly for Michael Krupe. That one down low. 2-0 to Soma. Krupe deals. And this is sliced into right field. That'll drop down for a base hit. A two out single. And now Noah Joseph to the plate, the second baseman. It's the third hit of the game for Natick.
croupy deals up high. So almost certainly a threat to steal. Wind up and the pitch. Inside corner for a strike. Checking at first, runner back safe. One one to Joseph, and this is popped up above the head of Ronan Bates. He'll make the catch for the third out of the inning. To the bottom of the third we go. Natick leading Ashland four to one. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries, located at 93 East Main Street, with garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford. You can find them online at WestonNurseries.com. Bottom of the third inning, a 4-1 to one lead for Natick. Sean Babineau to the plate, 2-3 and 4 do up for Ashland. As this one is sliced foul, 0-1. Oh Lefty steps back in and awaits the pitch. That is a ball down low. Well, Rick White settled down a little bit in the second inning. Two did reach for Ashland, but no runs came of it. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Two and one. White deals. Just inside, three and one. Wind up and the pitch. That's fouled away. Three and two. White deals. Down low, Babineau draws the walk. Fourth walk of the game for Rick White. Zach Jacobs to the plate. As the righty steps in, takes ball one. White has certainly had a battle in this game, but has gotten through it relatively unharmed as of yet. That one up high, 2 and 0. Oh. White deals. There's a strike, 2 and 1. White set to deal. And this is hit in the air and foul. On the right side, two and two. White deals. Up the middle, and that is going to be out of in and out of the glove of second baseman Noah Joseph. Everybody's safe. A single for Jacobs. Babino up to second. Good dive and play by Joseph, but unable to glove it, and Messier will come up to the plate. Or unable to keep it in his glove, I should say. White set to deliver. Up high. Wind 
Wind up and the pitch. Outside, 2-0 to Messier. Two on, no outs for Ashland. Big opportunity here to get right back into this game. This game got about a 6.05 start, about an hour in as this is popped up and the infield fly rule will come into effect and there is one out. Ronan Bates will now come to the plate. Wind up and the pitch outside. Bates awaits the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Shiver to Peron do up next. White deals. Outside, two and one. Swinging strike, two and two. Both runners leading as that one's fouled away. Count remains two and two. from the stretch as this is hit in the air towards the right side in fair territory and it's dropped a collision or nearly dropped a collision there and the first baseman was just able to hold on to it two way looked like he was going to drop it for a minute bobbled it and then was able to scoop it up before it hit the ground with his glove Good save there by Dembrowski. Shover to Perra on the shortstop up to the plate. Babineau did push up to third, so it's runners on the corners now for Ashland. Wind up in the pitch. Down low. Set to deliver. Checking at first. Runner slides back safe. Checking once again, runner safe. Perron struck out his last time up last inning. Let off last inning. As that pitch inside to the lefty, runner taking off from first, throw up the gut, and the runner is trapped in between first and second, and now the runner at third going to try to score the throw home, and they got him. A good attempt, distract the infielders with Zach Jacobs heading to second, then send to Babineau, but it doesn't pay off, and they get the third and final out of the inning to the top of the fourth we go, Natick leading 4-1. Top half of the fourth inning, a four to one Natick lead. As stepping in is the left fielder, Cam Smith. Am 
Michael Krupe back out there after settling down since the first inning. He'll deliver that one inside, one and oh. That one is in the dirt, two and oh. Group B delivers, and that is going to hit the batter. The Natick bench giving Cam Smith a cheer there, taking one for the team. And the leadoff hitter is on for Natick. And now coming to the plate, a pinch hitter, Sean Harney, will bat for Tom Fish and more than likely take over in center field. Harney set to graduate Natick in 2017. Wind up in the pitch. There's a strike to the lefty. Right, there's strike two, oh and two. Well, you wonder if the strategy of getting Harney in there was to get a left-handed bat up there. That one down low. Wind up and the pitch. There's ball two, two and two. Krupe deals. Third straight ball, three and two. Runner leading off of first. There's ball four, called outside, two on, no outs. Christian Boschetto to the plate, the right fielder. And he is going to square the bunt and lay it down. It is going to stop right in the infield grass, throw to first in time. But the job is done as Cam Smith pushes up to third, Harney up to second. Nice bunt there by Boschetto, exactly what he wanted to do, and that'll bring up Jackson Doe back to shortstop. One out, two runners in scoring position. One low, one and oh. And this is up the middle. That's going to get into right field. One run in, a second run being waved around. It's going to keep rolling out there in right field. Two runs are already in. The hitter, Dobek, heading to third. The throw to third, not in time. And it's a triple for Jackson Dobek, a two RBI triple. Six to one, Natick. Looked like Sharma just misplayed it out there in right field. Is now Kennedy Wilson to the plate. Runner on third, still only one out. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air to left field towards the wall. Ranging back is Obed, and he will make the catch. Runner from third is going to tag, and he will score. 7 0 1, Nadick. A sacrifice RBI fly out for Kennedy Wilson as Dobek comes around to score. Two away and now Kyle Dombrowski, the first baseman to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. That's outside, one and oh.
Krupe deals. Down low, 2 and 0. Oh. Dombrowski is 1 for 2 today. Had an RBI single in the first. Actually make that a 2 RBI single. Down low, 3 and 0. Oh. Set to deliver. And there's ball four. Dombrowski draws the walk. One on, two outs. Nick Wilson to the plate. As the catcher will step in. Be deals. There's strike one. Wind up and the pitch just outside. There's a strike, grabs the inner corner. One and two. Krupe from the stretch. And that's fouled away. Runner leading off of first. Down low, good cover up by Jacobs. Two and two. And gets a good piece of this one to center field. Standing right there to make the catch was Andrew Keim. And that is the third out of the inning, but not before. Natick adds on three more runs. It's seven to one heading into the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, six, seven, and eight hitters do up for Ashland as Trevor DePeron, the shortstop, will come to the plate. It is a seven to one lead for Natick. Rick White back out there for another inning of work. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, 1 and 0. Oh. Perron struck out and is only at bat in the second inning. Kaim and Krupe also do up this inning. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. And a little slicer rolled up the middle on the infield grass. Throw to first. Will pull the first baseman off the bag. And to Perron will beat it out. An errant throw from the pitcher. Now bring up Andrew Kai. White steps off the bag and looks over at first. Line up and the pitch. And that is hit foul up the right side. Good piece of that one. Oh and one. Kine pitched a solid five innings in the victory yesterday against Woburn. Runner leading off of first. White deals. And he will put this in a right field for a base hit. A nice piece of hitting there. DePeron's going to keep going. And the throw over to third is going to get away slightly. So DePeron up to third. Kime 
You can score him a single, moves up to second on the throw in. And we'll bring up Michael Krupe with two on and no outs. White delivers the bunt, fouled away. White from the stretch. Swinging strike. Blazes it by him there, 0-2. Fouled into the catcher's glove. That's going to be strike three. One away, Samir Sharma to the plate. Two on, one out. Swinging strike. White takes a long look in and it is now set to deal. Up high. Jake Obid due up next. Ashland certainly needs to start putting up some offense in these situations. Two in scoring position, one out. And Sharma will knock this one into center field. That drops down to Perron around the score. Kime will be held up. A good throw in from center field. And it is going to be an RBI single for Sharma. Jake Obid will now come to the plate. 7-2 game now. Runners on the corners for Ashland, still only one out. And we'll get an official's timeout here. Now we are set to resume. White takes a look at first, steps off the mound. He deals. There's strike one. Sean Babineau do up next. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit up the right side and out of play. 0 and 2. White set to deal. And this is lined up the middle, past the glove of the shortstop, one run in. And the lead runner now will stop at third base. And it's an RBI base hit for Obid. Kime comes around, Sharma up to third. Sean Babineau to the plate. A 7-3 ball game in favor of Natick. Still only one out in the inning. White deals. 
Up the third base side, and that's past the glove of Kennedy Wilson. Sharma around to score. An RBI single for Babineau. A little bit up to second. That'll make it 7 4, Natick. Zach Jacobs to the plate. And now we're going to get a visit from the Natick head coach, Mike Lodi. We'll see if he leaves Rick White out there. He brings the whole infield in to talk things over. Still only one out in the inning. And you still have two runners on for Zach Jacobs. Ashland's still hanging around very much. Jacob steps back in and awaits the pitch. Two on, one out. There's strike one. Three runs in this inning for Ashland. A 7-4 lead for Natick. White deals. And this is hit in the air to right field, and that'll fall into the glove of Boschetto. Both runners will hold up. That is just what Natick wanted there. And now Mike Messier to the plate. An exciting ball game here today from Ashland Middle School. A lot of action throughout for those of you just joining us. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. A 7-4 lead for Natick. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Wind up and the pitch. Hit high in the air on the left side, fair territory, and it's handled by the shortstop, Jackson Dobeck, for the third out of the inning. But Ashland plates three runs, and they are right back into the game. It's 7 4 Natick as we head to the fifth. Top half of the fifth inning, a 7 4 lead for Natick, and some changes for post 77. Samir Sharm is the new pitcher, and he is set to deal to Mark Soma. Wind up and the pitch, and this is up the middle right to Sharma. He'll throw over to first for the one to three ground out, one away. Also a change in right field. Devin Del Campo is the right fielder, and at second base, it's Ethan Tominski. As Noah Joseph, the second baseman for Natick, will step to the plate. Sharma delivers, that is inside, one and oh. Well, a couple younger players getting into a situation where it's still a ball game. That one down low in the dirt, two and oh. And Sharma has been getting a good amount of pitchers, pitching experience as of late. Wind up and the pitch. And not quite sure what the ump signaled there, but I believe it was a ball. Sharma deals. And there's ball four. Joseph gets the free pass to first. Cam Smith to the plate. One out, one on for Natick. And depending on how these next few innings go, light could certainly become a factor. We get a late start due to an umpire showing up late. First pitch to Smith is a strike. Game was originally supposed to start at 5.45, started about five or six minutes after six o'clock. That one down low and Joseph going to take off for a second. Jacobs will not be able to gather it up in time. Joseph advances on the wild pitch.
Line up and the pitch. Up high. Sharma deals. That will make it three and one on Smith. Wind up and the pitch. There's ball four. Two on, one out. And Sean Harney to the plate. The center fielder took over for Tom Fish. Sharma deals. Turns away the hitter, ball one. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Both teams scored three runs apiece in the fourth inning. Seven to four lead for Natick. That one inside. Wind up and the pitch in the dirt. Good cover up by Jacobs. Sharma set to deliver. There's a strike. That'll fill up the count. That one up high, and Harney draws the walk. Bases loaded, one out. Christian Boschetto, the right fielder to the plate. Jacob, some words of encouragement for Sharma. Jackson Doback due up next. Boschetto, one for three today. Single didn't score to run in the first inning. A four run first inning for Natick. Sharma deals. And this is a liner up the middle, bottled by the shortstop. He'll flip to second, and the second baseman drops it. And now the runner from third going to head home. The throw to Jacobs will be in time. So we'll get Cam Smith trying to score. One run is in. Joseph scored. Smith thrown out going home. Harney's up to second. Boschetto safe. And that was certainly an error there on the exchange at second base. Should have been a routine force out. Second error of the game for Ashland. Or actually, yeah, second error for Ashland as Dobek steps in and takes ball one. And the ball got away. Runner heading to third. He's safe. Harney on the ball there, saw the ball slip out of Jacobs' glove. Jacobs a little slow picking it up, and he took advantage of it. Boschetto also moves up to second. That's good on the ball, base running there for Natick. That one down low, that's going to get away from Jacobs, and the flip home is in time. As they will get Harney trying to score. Second time they were... Able to get someone advancing on an errant exchange. But Natick does add a run. And as we head to the bottom of the fifth, it is eight to four, post 107, leading Ashland. Bottom half of the fifth inning, an eight four lead for Natick as Ethan Tominski steps in. 
in the game for Ronan Bates. Came in to play second base. And Ashland, you know, they're out of the playoff picture and going to give everyone some good game experience here. Check swing for strike two. Was unable to hold up there. White still in the game as there's ball one. Spike giving up three runs to Ashland last inning. Nadick adding a one run on the top of the fifth. Could have been a lot worse, but Ashland made a couple nice defensive plays to catch a runner attempting to go to third and to catch one attempting to go home later on. Is that pitch outside? Caught Cam Smith trying to advance to third on an Aaron exchange at second base to try to get a force out. And then later, Sean Harney trying to score on a pass ball. Wind up and the pitch fouled away. An 8 4 Natick lead. White deals, up high, full count. Wind up in the pitch. There is a strike. Tominski thought he was going to get the walk, but instead he'll get the strikeout. Trevor de Perron will come to the plate. That one looked outside to me, but obviously we don't have the best view from where we are. White deals. And this is up the middle right back to White, and he will take it over to first. Little flip, two away. Andrew Kime to the plate. This game an extended affair today. About an hour and 40 minutes have gone by so far. A lot of action in this one. White deals. Swinging strike. 0 and 1. Post 77 will play their final game of the regular season tomorrow. Three straight home games to close out the season. It actually should have been four, but Bill Ricca ended up forfeiting on Sunday, which gave Ashland the automatic win. Oh, and two. Bill Ricca did not have enough players. Their short one player from the mandatory nine player roster. That one outside, one and two. So post 77 on a two-game winning streak heading into this one. Three ten and one overall. Natick seven and seven. Wind up and the pitch. On the ground, third base side, gloved by Wilson. Throw to first, no problem. A five to three ground out to get Kime. And as we head to the top of the sixth, Natick leading Ashland eight to four. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Fletcher Tilton Attorneys at Law. You can find them online at FletcherTilton.com. Top half of the sixth inning. Natick back up to the plate with an 8-4 lead. Stepping in the shortstop, Jackson Dobeck. Went for two today, walked in the first, has scored two runs. Also has an RBI to his credit as Sharma delivers ball one. Two, three, and four hitters due up for Natick. Wind up and the pitch. That one upstairs. Two and O. Oh. He deals. Three and O.
Wind up and the pitch. Outside, four straight balls to Dobek. Kennedy Wilson to the plate. As Jacobs will have a discussion with Sharma. Well, it's been certainly a bit of a back and forth game here today. Nadek scored four runs to start things out in the top of the first. Ashland responded with a run of their own. And then three runs each in the fourth. Nadek added one last inning. Kennedy Wilson had a sacrifice RBI last inning. Or actually in the fourth, rather. As that pitch up high, runner taking off from first and an easy stolen bag for Dobek. Wind up and the pitch. That went down low. Two zero pitch coming to Wilson. Three and zero. Devin Del Campo was loosening his arm earlier. Perhaps he is a relief option if Sharma struggles. There is a strike. Three one pitch coming to Wilson. And Wilson will lace this right to the shortstop. Good positioning there by DePeron. One away. Kyle Dombrowski will come up, but first, Samir Sharma will get a visit from head coach Derek Johnson. And We'll see if he'll take the ball here. He's going to call in the infield to have a discussion. He hasn't taken the ball yet, so perhaps just a pep talk to his infield. As Nadick looking to add on some extra security with an 8-4 to four lead. One out, one on for Dombrowski. Dombrowski. Graduated Natick High School in 2015. Having a pretty good game today. One for two. Also walked in the fourth. Has an RBI and a run scored as well. And actually two RBIs, excuse me. Sharma deals. And this is hit high in the air along the right side. First baseman Babino will backpedal and make the catch. Two away. That'll bring up Nick Wilson. Nick Wilson, the catcher, 0 for 3. Nick Wilson also graduated Natick High School last year, class of 2015. That one down low, good block by Jacobs. Sharma set to deliver. That one upstairs. Line up and the pitch. There's a ball, three and O oh to Wilson. There's ball four. Two on, two outs, Mark Soma, the DH to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Just up high. It's 
Set to deliver. And this is hit in the air to right field. And that'll drop into the glove of Devin Del Campo for the third out of the top half of the six. To so the bottom of the inning we go. Natick leading Ashland 8-4. to four. Devin Del Campo stepping in. 8, 9, and 1 for post 77. Del Campo will bat for Michael Krupe. So that means that Krupe is more than likely out of the game. As Rick White still in there battling it out. Delivers strike one there. Well, just about at 8 o'clock now, and if any of these innings are extended, light will certainly become an issue. Wind up and the pitch. Here's another strike, 0 and 2. White deals, and that's fouled away. Del Campo stays alive. Samir Sharma do up next. Had an RBI single in the fourth, which got a three-run inning started for post-77. That's fouled into the backstop. Count remains 0-2. Wind up and the pitch. Strike three. One away. Samir Sharma to the plate. There's a the strike. And check swing, couldn't hold, 0-2. Wind up and the pitch. That one outside. One and two to Sharma. White deals, tipped foul, staying alive. Count remains one and two. Jake Obid due up next. White delivers inside, two and two. There is warm up action for Natick. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. That is going to get into center field. That'll be a single for Sharma. A one out single. That'll bring up Jake Obit. Getting loose is J.J. Hickman for Natick. And you have to imagine with the amount of pitches Rick White has thrown in this game that the leash is not too long. Wind up and the pitch to Obid is outside. Wind up and the pitch outside. Two and out to Obid. Runner leading off of first. That one down low. Yeah. 
White deals. There's a strike. Three and one to Obid. Sean Babineau due up next. One on, one out, four post 77. There, strike two. White battles back to fill up the count. An 8-4 lead for Natick. Pro 77 trying to play spoiler here. Ashland out of playoff contention. Natick still in playoff contention. Battling for that fourth spot at 7-7 seven and seven as that one was fouled away. Just two games out. Runner leading off of first, White deals. And there's ball four, Obid draws the walk. Two on, one out, Sean Babineau to the plate. And we'll get a timeout here as Mike Lodi and Nick Wilson will come to the mound and I'll be quite surprised if White's still in this game. But it looks like for now, he's going to leave him out there. And he will. Sean Babineau with a big opportunity here to get Ashland right back into the game. As the lefty steps in and awaits the pitch. White from the stretch. Down low. One and oh. And that's sliced foul, one and one. White has really had a battle throughout these innings. Has been caught up in a jam almost every inning. On the ground, up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. Lead runner, Samir Sharma being waved around. He will come to score, and it'll put runners on the corners. Four post 77, an RBI single for Babineau. And it's an eight to five ball game. Obed moves up to third. Zach Jacobs will come up to the plate. And now Mike Lodi coming out again. This is likely going to be it for Rick White. And it will. We'll have a relief pitcher for Natick, post 107. And we will fill you in on those details. Once we come back, 8-5, to five, Natick leading Ashland on HCAM television in Hopkinton and WACA TV in Ashland. New pitcher for Natick is Mark Soma. He was the designated hitter to start the game. So what happens now is, well, Soma will just remain in the batting order where he, where he uh, was to start with in that sixth spot. As Jacobs steps in and awaits the pitch. There's a ball. And I have just been informed this will indeed be the last inning of the game because of the fact that there are no lights here and it's getting dark out. As this is up the middle, that's off the shortstop and a run is in. Obid comes around, an RBI single for Jacobs. Babineau up to second. Mike Messier to the plate. Two on, one out. Tying run at first base, winning run at the plate. We're 
going to get a discussion between Nick Wilson and Mark Soma, the pitcher. There's a strike. Line up and the pitch. And he will rope this in a left field. That drops down. Runner being waved around. Babineau is going to come around to score. It's eight to seven. An RBI single for Messier. Jacobs up to second. And now Ethan Tominski will step in. Big opportunity here. What a comeback by post 77. There's a strike. Well, it's a shame, too. You won't see the uh, seventh inning. They're going to end it after this inning due to light. Wind up and the pitch. Bunt pulled back down low. So it's either win or lose here for Ashland. Or actually, you could also tie. Ashland out of the playoff picture, trying to play spoiler here for Natick, who's still in the playoff picture, fighting for his spot. That one down low. Two and one to Minsky. Soma deals. The bunt is on the dirt. A nice bunt, but foul. Two and two. Been a pretty exciting week for Ashland post 77 to say the least. We'll get one more game here at home tomorrow. Chance to play spoiler against Sudbury. Line up in the pitch. Swinging strike. Tominski goes down. That's the second out of the inning. It's all in the hands of Trevor DePeron now. Checking at second, and they almost got him. The shortstop dove to keep that one from getting into center field. Set to deliver up high. And Sudbury is opponent Ashland will have tomorrow is currently the third seed but they're still fighting for the second seed and they can even get first if a couple things happen post 77 will attempt to play spoiler tomorrow as well but still has a chance to play, to play spoiler here tonight line up and the pitch and this is hit in the air, and it is going to drop past the shortstop's glove. Runner being waved around the throw home is going to be off the mark, and Jacobs will score the game-tying run. An RBI single for DePeron as he pushes up to second after the throw. Messier up to third. Eight to eight. What a game. And Ashland has batted around. Andrew Kime will come up to the plate. Runners on second and third, two outs. Kime with a chance to 
Outpost 77 walk off with their fourth victory of the season. Line up and the pitch. And it looks like they're going to give Kime the intentional pass here. And we'll have Devin Del Campo come up to the plate. And he's going to hit this one up the middle. It'll get through. And the winning run will come around. Messier scores. And it's a 9 to 8 victory for post 77. They will call it due to the light. And Andrew Keim got the game-winning hit off an attempted intentional walk by Mark Soma. And Ashland puts up five runs in the bottom of the sixth to grab their fourth victory of the season. A great win for Ashland as they get a huge upset over Natick. The final score, nine to eight. What an exciting game we saw here this evening. We'll have more on that in just a bit. A tremendous win for Ashland post 77 as they take down Natick post 107 by a final score of nine to eight. The game ends after six innings due to the fact there are no lights here on the field and it is Getting dark out, so they had to call it due to light. But Ashland grabs their fourth win of the season, improves to 4-10-1 overall. Natick falls to 7-8. and eight. Natick still in the playoff race, but Ashland has certainly made things a little tougher. Natick started off by scoring four runs in the top of the first. Ashland responded on the bottom of the inning with a run of their own. And then both teams scored three runs apiece in the fourth. Natick added another run in the fifth, but it all came down to the sixth inning, bottom of the sixth. Ashland plates five runs. Let's tell you how it happened. The inning started off with a Michael, with a, uh, excuse me, uh, Devin Del Campo strikeout. Samir Sharma then singled. Obid drew the walk, and then a RBI single by Babineau. Zach Jacobs then had an RBI single, followed by a Mike Messier RBI single. Ronan Bates would then strike out for out number two. And excuse me, I should correct myself. Jacobs and Messier had the RBI singles off of the relief pitcher, Mark Soma. And then uh, Ronan Bates struck out for out number two. Trevor DePeron came through with an RBI single to drive in Jacobs. And then Andrew Keim with the game-winning base hit, RBI single, which ended up scoring Mike Messier for the ninth post-77 run of the game. The fifth in the inning, Andrew Keim, your player of the game. He went three for four overall, had two stolen bases, a run scored, and an RBI, and, of course, had the game-winning hit. Quite a great victory for Ashland, certainly a confidence booster after a tough season record-wise for this young post-77 team, but they are all getting very good experience this year, and a lot of the young players got into today's game, got some valuable Game time experience against a very good Natick team. Natick scores eight runs on five hits, commits an error. Ashland scores nine runs on 13 hits and commits an error. But post 77 scored the most runs in any game that they have had this season as they beat their previous eight run maximum as they put up nine runs here tonight to take down Natick in walk-off fashion by a final score of 9-8. to eight. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Ashland Legion Baseball on HCAM Television in Hopkinton or WACA TV in Ashland. Have a good night and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.